we are too far behind as a force. Uh, we are keeping people waiting and some cases uh, people are waiting over 100 days we've had complaints and that is just unacceptable. Part of the problem rests with the funding that we've had and the way we're funded uh, for the system. Part of the problem relies internally in the way we've trained people, uh, the computer systems that we have. So we've got to do this better and I've asked for reports within two months from the Chief Constable as to how we're actually making it better because we don't get it right, people are not getting their jobs uh, in a timely manner and we're not doing the work we should be doing to support economic development in the West Midlands. Well the funding is archaic. Um, the DBS people, they tell us to start with how many uh, cases we're supposed to deal with. We then bid for the money they then give us a lot less than we've asked for, then they give us more cases to deal with. So part of the problem is the way we've been funded and the personnel we've been able to take on. Uh, that's been partly addressed, but it has caused a considerable backlog, partly because uh, the economy has picked up, there's more people changing jobs, there's people going into these sensitive sort of jobs, uh, particularly in the care uh, industry. And that is a serious problem if those people don't get their checks in time. Well, I don't know, the, the government are constantly cutting back funding and this is very foolish and it's folly to cut back on a service like this because this is a service, firstly it's to protect vulnerable people and secondly it's to help get people into work, working with those vulnerable people. So, uh, you know, if we're inefficient and we're not dealing with it properly, if the government isn't funding us properly, uh, then that is doing all the sort of things that we don't want to happen. So you could cut things back to a certain extent, you can try and make them more efficient, but in the end if you cut back to a certain extent, as has happened here, then you actually uh, damage the very thing you're trying to improve, which is the economy. And I'm saying some funding put into this uh, will help the economy, help get people into work, paying taxes and all the other things, to pay for the services we receive.